All right, y'all. So sorry for posting late. Um, about a week late. Whoops. Um, so to start off, I did get a question on my last video asking what my symptoms were prior to having this. Um, so I was perfectly normal, perfectly healthy, um, minus allergies that I've had forever. Um, I was able to clear my ears no problem. I loved flying. I loved going up the mountain. My life was a breeze, basically. Um, and then I had my diving accident. And then after that um, is when originally we thought it was just water in my ears. We were putting like swimmers drops in there and hydrogen peroxide or alcohol or something. I don't know like the old school remedies. <laughs> um, and then, um, you know, cause I couldn't clear it. I was in a lot of pain the first couple of days. I still had to finish a dive even after I messed up my ear really bad. Um, so I had to, so we went back, we hung out for a bit. I had to complete that dive that I did, and then I had to do the last dive too in order to get my certification. Um, so af or after everything, um, after the initial pain went away, um, I had a crackling feeling. Um, you know, I had to clear constantly anytime the barometric pressure moved just a little bit. I could feel it. Um, my boyfriend and I joked that we were a bunch of old people because there was like a rain or snowstorm moving in. Um, he had an ACL surgery in high school and then I had my ear issues and I was like, there's a storm moving in. I can feel it. And he said that I can feel it in my ear and he said he can feel it in his knee. And I joke that we're old and I'm 22 and he's 25. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was mainly, I had to constantly clear. I had that crackling feeling. I had kind of that, you know, constantly, like I need to clear my ears feeling, um, so that's the answer to the question that somebody left on my last video. So now we are three weeks post-op. Yay! Um, I think the hardest days were Sunday and Monday, not like three days ago, but like a week ago. Um, maybe it was three days ago. I don't remember. No, a week ago. Um, we had a late snowstorm move into the area. And it was snowing, which means the barometric pressure was really low or high. I don't know, but it was really wonky while I was going up the mountain. And then throughout the day, it was sunny and then it was cloudy and it was sunny and it was cloudy. And so because I was already at elevation and then that was happening, my ear was angry and I was in a decent amount of pain. Um, personally, for me, nothing that a little like ibuprofen or Tylenol couldn't handle um, which was nice. I was still able to work and do what I needed to do. It wasn't too distracting from my job, thankfully. Um, but yeah, that, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked a lot. Um, but now let's see, last week on Wednesday, I did have my two week follow up. My ENT looked, he said I was definitely still a little bit raw and red through here. Um, you know, because they go up your nose with everything. So he did say it was still a little red and raw. Um, but it hasn't been bothering me, which is good. Um, I'm just sniffling because, you know, allergies. Welcome to spring in northern Nevada. Um, so, um, yeah. So, but he said other than it looking kind of just raw and irritated, everything looks great. Um, he basically said I can dive whenever I feel comfortable. Which is crazy because originally everybody was like, yeah, probably about 90 days. Yeah, probably about 90 days. Um, and then he kind of looked and he goes, I go, I feel great. I've, you know, I'm not, I don't think I will ever be 100% again. Um, and that sucks. But I personally feel I'm probably about 95%, 90 to 95% normal again. Um, how I was pre-accident, pre-injury, which is so nice. <laughs> um, so I went in and the dive shop that I was at has changed hands. It's a new owner, new staff, um, maybe a couple of the same instructors, but as far as I know, new owner and some new staff coming in. Um, and so I talked to one of the new instructors and I basically told him what happened last time. 
and that I'm terrified to dive again because this is what happened to me last time. Like, I don't want to mess up everything that I just went through. Um, and he totally understood. Um, so I think I'll probably give it maybe another month or so. Lake Tahoe, as of last week, was 48 degrees. So I want to wait for the water to just warm up just a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, it won't warm up too much more, sadly, but, you know, I'm hoping that the water will at least get to, like, 50 would be nice. <laughs> um, so, but they're willing to work with me. You know, I'm not asking for a discount or anything like that because it is a new owner. He had nothing to do with this. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to start in a pool again, which is where when you start learning how to scuba dive, you start, um, you go through a couple of, like, classroom and like instruction and like general like hand signals and how to be safe and things like that um and then you go to a pool and that's when you really learn how to you know you attach all your gear in the shop but it's different you know when you're putting them on at the pool and you're in your wetsuit and you're in all your things and you've got your weights on and then you jump in the water kind of thing and so um we're going to start the pool again because depending on the pool they're anywhere between 10 and 13 feet, um, and that's kind of in the diving area. Um, so I'd prefer to start there before we go open water again. And then he wants, this instructor wants to take me to a different spot um, than the Diver's Cove is what it's called in Tahoe. Um, so he wants to take me to a different spot that maybe is a little bit more gradual. It, it's still super gradual, the Diver's Cove, but, um, you know, it just just to kind of take it slow, not have any weird flashbacks, any weird memories, anything like that. So I'm super grateful that they are willing to work with me on something like this. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back if they have student insurance because my last, the last time I dove with the previous owner, they did not, which is why everything came out of my pocket. Um, and I asked and they haven't gotten back to me yet, so we'll see. Um, cause again, yeah. And then, update on that whole debacle, um, a couple days after my, uh, surgery, they said they weren't going to cover it anymore. Um, because I got a, hey, we're going to cover this, and then I got a, just kidding, we're not going to cover any of it, and then I received my entire, like, probably 30 pages, front and back, of all the medical records and the decisions that they made and everything like that, so... Um, thankfully I have my dad standing behind me and I have my doctor standing behind me. Um, but I have a feeling it's not going to be covered. So, you know, this is when I'm thankful that, you know, I have, I, you know, as my dad likes to put it, we are blessed. You know, my dad makes good money. I still live at home with them and he's willing to... We have money set aside for stuff like this. So, yeah. Um, my original bill, without talking it down or anything, just for the, not the anesthesiologist, the actual anesthesia and the time, you know, you spend, after you come out, you spend X amount of time at this pod. It was like 35 minutes and I spent like 36 minutes and then, but I was only under anesthesia for about 35 minutes. Um... My grand total came to over $16,000. So, <laughs> that was a bit of a sticker shock. This is my first surgery, so I had no idea we were looking at that much. Um, but I know there's, like, ways to you know, talk to the hospitals and talk things down and everything like that. So, I'm sure that's the direction we're going to go. But just as a general pre-insurance, pre-everything else, $16,000. <laughs> um... But flipping through my insurance paperwork, I did see that when I was going to get it done originally in Sacramento, that they were going to cover the use of microscopic tools or something and the actual surgery center. They just weren't going to cover the doctor doing the procedure and they weren't going to cover the special tool needed for the procedure. So I'm hoping that this bill still gets sent to my insurance and my insurance will say, well, this is the surgery center, so we will cover the surgery center. So, I am hopeful. <laughs> um, 
yeah, other than that, though, things are great. I don't have any pain. Um, I don't have any discomfort. It's getting easier and easier for me to clear my ears now that I'm going up and down uh, four days a week consistently. So that's awesome. Um, and I'm very, very hopeful that later this summer, um, my good dive buddy and I and are going to be able to dive. But I want to dive with an instructor first, just, just in case. <laughs> Um, but yeah, things are awesome, so I'll probably update you guys, I don't know, maybe next week, maybe a month, we'll kind of have to see if anything's necessarily changed. I'll also update you guys on my insurance battle that's taking place. I know that some people don't care about that necessarily, and they only care about what I'm feeling and everything, but I think it's very important that my insurance company specifically, because they called it not a proven procedure sees that this procedure worked and it should be proven and you know I understand that it doesn't work for everybody but no kind of medicine works for everybody so how can you say to one person well this isn't covered because it doesn't work for everybody but this other kind of medicine that also doesn't work for everybody is covered I don't understand um, but that's beside the point. <laughs> um, but anyways, I feel awesome. I feel great. I'm so excited that I've had some people come along this journey with me. I, again, I knew that, you know, I had a Facebook group behind me the whole time asking questions and I tried to direct them over here. Um, because again, everything I saw on YouTube, when I looked it up for like actual people's stuff was it didn't work. It didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. And I was hoping that I was going to be the exception to give somebody some positive feeling of it may not have worked for them, but it did work for me, so hopefully it'll work for you kind of thing. So I will update you guys again later, but thank you guys so much for following me on this journey, and I will see you guys probably within the next couple of weeks.